Hey everybody, just wanted to spend a little time with you and go over question 19.38 out of Brown Lemay Burston. Um, in this case, um, we're going to talk about entropy, and we want to determine if the entropy of the system increases, decreases, or stays the same. Okay, now, entropy is the randomness of a system, and in order to determine randomness, we have to look at the particles. For so for part A, we're going to increase the temperature, okay? And so by increasing the temperature, we're taking molecules, and I'll, I'll take liquid molecules, okay? They're kind of far apart, okay? They're not solids. But what's happening when we heat them up is they're going to move more, okay? These are my little move markers, okay? And so they're able to move faster and faster and faster. Temperature is a measure of how fast a particle moves. And so in this case, if we heat up a molecule or a particle, okay, that means the molecule is going to become more random. So by increase, if delta T is positive, meaning the change in temperature goes up, that means that delta S of a system is almost always going to be positive. Okay. And so now what happens if we increase um, the volume of a gas? Okay. So now the volume of the gas. So what we're doing is we're putting a gas. Let's say we're putting a gas in a balloon. Okay. Okay, here's a balloon, and let's say we have some particles in this, okay? Now, we take the same number of particles, and that's the key here. We're just increasing the volume, okay? And, and so we're going to take those same number of molecules and give them more space to move around in, okay? And so that now means that if there's more space for them to move, they have the ability to be more random, okay? So if the change in volume is positive, that means the change in entropy is definitely going to be positive, okay? So now the last one, it says equal volumes of ethanol and water are mixed to form a solution. Okay, so, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. You can see what my next one's going to be. Okay, I want to do this. Okay, so water and ethanol. Now, you have water, liquid water, and then you have ethanol, okay, liquid ethanol, in separate containers. Okay, I'll make the container green. And then we take this one and dump it into here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, when we dump those together, when we mix them, it's going to be interesting because what ends up happening is the water and the ethanol occupy that same space and they mix up. And so there's many more mo molecules or particles occupying the same space. More particles occupying the same space is also a change in entropy. So the delta S then becomes positive, okay? So you have many, many, many more states that the molecules can exist in, okay? So, um, so that explains um, the answers to those questions. Um, have a great day.